Hi quilters, I'm Shelley Robson from the Quilted Forest. It's June, which means it's time to pick our project of the month. Before we pick our project of the month, I will be the first to confess that May was not a great month for me as far as getting anything done sewing wise. I had a machine that died, so I was without a machine for a couple weeks. I spent three out of four weekends helping one of my kids move, so all my sewing time went out the window, but June is a new month and maybe we can get some stuff done in June. Let's see, I did make a little progress on a couple projects before my machine died. The things I did get done in May were I made a couple blocks for project 10, which was our January project, which I still haven't finished. I did a few blocks for our number two project. I've got some of the blocks sewn together, so I did a little work on that. And, and May was project 11. And I took the blocks out of here and looked at them. They're very pretty. And I trimmed them all down to one size, but that's as far as I got. So hopefully by the time I see you next month, I'll have a little bit more done. My go for more in 24 project sadly stayed in the drawer all month. So hopefully I'll get a chance to work on that in June also. And now it's time to pick our project for June. So I've taken out the numbers for the projects that we've already picked. So we have seven left and they're gonna go in the bucket. And again, it's time to get nervous, see what kind of fun we're gonna be having in June. And it's gonna be project number, whoops, project number nine. So for that, I'm going to be working on, oh, <laughs> of course, it's the one I've been dreading. Oh dear. Well, Actually, I haven't been dreading it. I just know it's gonna be a lot of work. It's gonna be really cool when it's done, but it is going to be a lot of work. So this was a um, quilt top that I bought and it was wavy. It just, the whole quilt top went like this. So I took the whole thing apart and you can see how all these pieces were sewn. Nothing was cut correctly. The pieces of the block, there was no trimming involved when the person put this together. They didn't trim anything. This was, this is the look of their block. And then they just tried to sew it onto a straight piece. None of it worked. So I took the whole thing apart. And then I am trying to put them back together. And in putting them back together, I'm having to add some fabric from my 30s stash because some of the pieces weren't big enough to go on the thing. And what the blocks are supposed to look like when they're done is this. So, so far I've got a few blocks made and then when you put the blocks together, but let me lay them out on this table here and show you what they'll look like when the blocks all get put together. When you sew them together, the string pieced parts here We'll make an octagon, eight-sided block. And then where the green pieces meet, they will make a star. The nice thing is, is since I had to remake some of these pieces, they're fitting together a lot better and I've trimmed them all down to the size. So you can see the cool effect that this is gonna have with the secondary patterns. This will be the octagon and then a star. So I'm very excited to get this done. Again, this was a project I bought at a secondhand store and I took it all apart and now I'm putting it back together. I hope you will have a very productive June in your sewing room. Thanks for watching. Happy quilting.